Australia without an arts sector is a country without character, without a story. Arts is the sector, but today we're talking about the people. The artists, the musicians, the writers, the designers, the illustrators, the children's entertainers, and as well the catering staff, the technical support staff, the back of house, house staff that make the stage come to life. And this year, we in this place treated our artists worse than we have in any other year since Federation. JobKeeper denied to hundreds of thousands. Job seeker to be cut in just a few short months. The Commonwealth Arts Department effectively abolished. Support packages too little and too late. Our artists were among the first to have their livelihoods hit by the pandemic, and they will be some of the last to recover. And while we didn't have breakouts of mass COVID in Perth, we did have the recession. 4,663 4, people in my electorate rely on the arts and creative industries for their employment. 6 per cent of the total jobs in Perth. The Australia Council for the Arts records some 2,055 cultural and creative industries and businesses in Perth alone. It's six months since I moved this motion, and sadly, uh, despite moving it six months ago, calling for urgent cooperative action from National Cabinet, this motion still rings true. Arts are an essential part of our economy. 600,000 of our fellow Australians work in the creative and cultural sector. $117 billion of economic output. And we know that in Perth, the arts are key to our city and to our suburbs. Vibrant, active, safe, beautiful suburbs all rely on the arts. There have been two recessions in my lifetime, one under Labor and now one under the Liberal Party. And while the government stood in this place on budget night and said, mission accomplished, it's all on the up, I don't think the arts sector believed that for a second. Uh, it, was more, uh, it was more of the same and not enough from this government when it comes to arts support. And even the packages they have announced, the photo ops have been there, but the money has still not gone out the door. I know this because I've met with many, many arts and event industry businesses in my electorate over recent months. Audio Technic, one of the best sound delivery businesses in Australia. You can't have Taylor Swift at Optus Stadium without Audio Technic. The Astor Theatre, um, if you are a performer, and th this is the best theatre if you're an Elvis impersonator, and I've seen an Elvis impersonator at or, uh, the Astor Theatre, you can't have Elvis impersonators <coughs> in Western Australia without the Astor Theatre. The Western Australian Ballet, the awesome festival, Perth Arena, Matrix Productions, and shout out to Daryl and the team at Matrix, Indigenous Theatre Company, Yuri Yakin, the Media and Entertainment and Arts Alliance, the Perth Fringe Festival, Barking Gecko, RTR FM, the Chamber of Arts and Culture, WA, uh, and I even got to have a chat to Aurelio Costarella, someone I had never heard of at the start of this year, and he is an amazing Perth constituent who has made some of the most beautiful dresses that have ever been worn anywhere in this country. Uh, they are all different businesses, but they are all still feeling the impacts of this recession. Even Bluey, the stage musical, has had to be delayed at Burswood Theatre. And I asked my community on Facebook, what do they want me to say in this place to the government? They, Christina said, remind them that the arts are the culture and face of Australia. Monica O'Neill asked me to say, the arts sector brings the heart and soul of our community to life. And Andrew Pearce is worried about Australian content. He fears a world where there are no more Aussie kids shows, instead just a truckload of imported stuff that doesn't represent who we are as a country. I want to finish by saying an arts education is a quality education. Time and time again this government has tried to punish the arts. Two weeks ago we saw the whacked through this place, the job ready graduates legislation, well I think it's coming back today, more than doubling the cost of an arts degree. At the same time they're doubling the cost of an arts degree, they are building what I must say is a very beautiful $600 plus million Edith Cowan Perth City campus in my electorate, but the students who go there are going to pay 113 per cent more for their degrees. So again, disrespecting those who want to dedicate their lives to the arts. I'll finish by thanking our artists. You've given us hope in a miserable year. You've begun capturing this moment in his history. 
You help people grieve, help people find joy, and hopefully we will soon help you.